I start setting my alarm for 6 a.m., y'all. I'll show you what I've done so far about whole... Um, I did this earlier, but the tax people were out here, and I was in pajamas, so I had to go inside. So I tried to do it earlier. So I was doing some just now. Um, can't walk through there. I got some of the cucumbers in. I'm gonna put these in later this evening. So I got some going over here. I was leveling out for the next box. But yeah. Yeah. Y'all, do you know solution? Because I was like, I'll go buy sunscreen if you put it on me because I can't reach my back. His solution is I wear clothes, long sleeve clothes. One, I will die of heat stroke. And two, I burn through my clothes. My my top does not go that far down. Y'all saw how much I burned yesterday. All the way past it. Did I ever happen to the dating era when they would love to put sunscreen on you? Now it's like, uh, you need an itch, go get something to scratch yourself. You need sunscreen, figure it out. Put clothes on. And this is why stuff gets lost in communication and men and women get in fight. He meant he would love to put sunscreen on me, but I needed to put a shirt on top of that because I'm going to get burned. Instead of saying, why don't you put a shirt on? He, he needs to explain. Men leave words out. They leave words out and they cause fights and they make the women feel horrible. Because I asked him, I was like, why don't you want to put sunscreen on me? You used to love it. And he's like, no, I meant I would put the sunscreen on you and then you need to wear a long sleeve shirt. First of all, that's not happening. But uh, can we please say that then? Not leave words out and make the woman feel all crappy. We have a lot of loss in translation. I'm just saying. Just saying. So one thing I forgot to mention this morning is I have been suffering from a heartburn for almost two days straight. Um, not extremely bad, except right now it's pretty bad. Like, it's making me very nauseous. I keep burping up tons of hot fluid. It's come out of my nose, gross, I know. Um, and I think it's because of all the bending. I have done the last two days. Um, bending over triggers heartburn for me. Um, plus working in the garden with all the molds and stuff. Today's the last day I had, had it for breakfast. Um, my last of my boar's head. So, I decided since I'm having heartburn anyways, even eating the bread, eating the boar's head, I'm still being triggered with horrible, horrible heartburn. Um, but... What's the point? I'm having dreams of eating steak. I'm too scared to try the steak right now. And that's all my body wants. I want steak. Even though it gave me allergic reactions multiple times. And the taste was horrifying. My body is yelling for steak really badly. And I'll be cooking my dad's steak tonight. I will not be eating it. But I am making a whole chicken to try again. Um, the last few times I've had chicken, it just gave me really bad heartburn and it, um, tasted horrible. Well, I already have really bad heartburn. So we'll see. I might be able to eat it. I might not. I am cooking it in my new little air fryer ninja combo type oven on a combo crisp setting. It should take 40 minutes, but I don't know. That seems awfully fast because it's only at 400 temperature, but it is only a two and a half pound birds so we will see i am cooking carrots and potatoes with it so no it is not carnivore no it is not keto but i am switching over to see if um potatoes will help instead of the wheat anyways because the wheat is causing breakouts um this was a bug bite this one was a bug bite that's a bug bite so i'm having bug bite issues but i'm having breakouts in other areas from the wheat um <sighs> yeah, this is insane. I am literally, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's little gnats, mosquitoes, spiders. No, they, everyone thought this one over here, which was two days ago, was a spider because when you took a picture, it was very swollen when it happened. And when you took a picture, it had two little bite marks. Um, 
so I'm getting eaten alive. The idea, though, is to go back keto or carnivore. That is the plan. That is the ultimate goal. I am going to try again to set up a GI doctor again, like with her again, hoping she'll change her mind. Hoping there's something that can be done just to see what if it's more. What if I have a yeast overgrowth? Because I was on, because I was really sick. So I was on a lot of doclecycline, like multiple rounds this winter. Um, and that can cause it. Also, um, I know my blood pressure pills. Every time I take them, I get really sick at night from them. And I know that is one of the side effects for a lot of people that they do cause severe heartburn and stomach issues. And I was doing great until I was put on them in September. After September, things just started falling apart again. More and more things. And I was put on meds, multiple meds at that time. And, and doclecycline and other stuff. Plus, I've also, I'm taking my ibuprofen every morning which causes heart, severe heartburn as well so y'all so many things can cause my stomach issues i i can't that's why i'm trying i'm trying the chicken again because if i can go back to at least eating chicken because i don't want the deli meat it is swelling my stomach the scale has barely moved any but my body swelling is horrendous um you can see it in my face. My belly looks like I'm pregnant. Um, I'm having more heartburn because of the swelling. I also don't feel good. Like I have an amazing day where I'm just like full of energy, amazing, and then I crash and burn. Today's been rough. I was okay when I first woke up, but it is rough. And I am in severe pain because let me tell y'all, bending over planting those flowers has ripped my back. Both sides of my back feel shredded, and so is my thighs. And trying to go pee is a nightmare. Getting up and down on our chairs is a nightmare. I almost scream. It is very, very, very painful. So, yeah, yeah, we need to build some muscle there. <clears throat> so, um, I've been thinking, I'm, I, I haven't tried a salad yet. But everything makes me sick. Even the sandwiches are now making me sick. So it's like you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. So you might as well just eat the more healthier things and get sick from it. Um, <clears throat> there's no way around it. Fasting doesn't work for me, once again, because my blood sugars drop too low in the 50s. In the 50s and I get a cold clammy sweat I start shaking I start throwing up and I almost pass out okay and it does not bring itself back up at all it doesn't matter how long I wait it will just keep dropping lower and lower it is not regulating itself it is like before when before I got, was diabetic I had a severe issues with my blood sugars dropping too low that was most of my life childhood, teenage years, early 20s, that was my life until I got in diabetes. I could not keep my blood sugar high enough. Um, it would just crash. See, I didn't have high blood sugars when I ate donuts and stuff. It would be low. And this is before diabetes. Then I got pregnant and got gestational diabetes. And then um, three years later, I ended up with diabetes. But before that... It was the whole other spectrum. And that seems to be what's happening again. But like I said, my blood pressure gives me heartburn. My magnesium gives me heartburn. And this ain't just normal heartburn. Like I said, it comes through my nose. Um, I keep having to sit here with my finger on the pause button just in case I have an episode because I feel it coming. Um, don't want y'all to experience it. It is disgusting. Um, but what I was trying to say is, to me, ibuprofen messes with your stomach. Too much processed food, histamines, blah, 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 blah. It is. Yeah. That's why I was so excited the first 60 plus days of carnivore because I had no issues. It was finally gone. I was finally happy. 
And then, I don't know what happened. But I told y'all, the meat did started tasting different. And my daughter, I had gotten sick during that time. And my daughter thinks maybe we had caught COVID again. Because we were all sick for a few days with fevers and not feeling well. And that's when I lost my taste again. So, I don't know. I don't know, but something happened during that time frame that has made me go through a whole cycle of being sick again. Nosy cats are in here. Want your pets? Does the boy want pets? You do, do. He doesn't like to be held. He likes these aggressive pets like this only. You do, do. Oh, who's in the bed? Bear. Is that you? <gasps> Hi! Hi, baby! It's Sharky! Hi, baby Sharky! Alright, I started eating the chicken. I did record. Y'all, I hope it doesn't make me sick. It tastes amazing. I'm probably not going to eat all the potato. Um, this is not a big plate, as you can see. Um, but I am hungry, so we'll see. But I hope I can eat the chicken because it is so yummy. Okay, I'll do it. It was very yummy. I barely ate anything other than the chicken. And the chicken is in my throat, basically. It's coming back out. And my stomach is so swollen, I can't even wear any of my pants. <laughs> I'm going to have to go grab a 2X pair to put on because I can't. Right now, my pants aren't buckled, buttoned at all. Um, the heartburn just, y'all, I don't know if I have a high annual hernia, because I know some of y'all have said that before, but holy crap, and why does this swell me so bad? I didn't eat the potatoes, I didn't eat the carrots, I didn't get that far. I ate the chicken breast, and then I was in trouble. I didn't eat the skin either, so we can't say it was the fat from the chicken, but I don't know. Can you see? Can you see the big poof? Yeah, that was not like that earlier, before eating. Yes, I was having heartburn already, but I did not have this horrible swelling, and I did not have where it feels like the food is trying to come back up. So I'm having a hot black coffee right now, because sometimes um, that's all it takes. Y'all, the way my stomach is swelling, you would think I had ice cream, okay? Because that's what my stomach does on ice cream and milk. It's why I haven't had ice cream and milk like in a billion years. I was fine with heavy cream, but I don't even do heavy cream. I don't even eat cheese anymore. Um, it's hard to talk. It sucks. Yeah, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And even when I did get with the gastro doctor, she didn't know what to tell me. Because once, I did not realize that once your chart says MCAS on it, that no one wants to touch you after that. I had no clue that that would happen. <clears throat> Alright, I'm a little upset that the cucumbers and tomatoes that I bought from the school has a mold fungus on it. I'm going to try the baking soda and water spray tomorrow. And if it doesn't help, I'm going to have to pull them out of the ground because I cannot infect my whole garden and it's such bullshit. And I thought I saw little spots on it yesterday, but they said it was nothing and they were wrong. Because look today. And I googled it. It's definitely a mold. That's why it's getting bigger. It started off as tiny little spots and it's encasing them. I'm going to try. Otherwise... I'm going to have to rip them out because it can spread in this wind to all my other stuff. But there are so many. Y'all, I'm so upset right now. All these beds are full of it. Okay, so I have sprayed them all down with the... It's half a gallon of water, half a tablespoon of baking soda. I have drenched them all. And I'm praying... I do not have to pull them up and throw them away because there are so many. So many. I want to cry. I don't want to infect my other ones. But I am completely devastated right this minute and don't understand how can a school sell them. I'm debating on cutting those leaves off. 
but I want to soak it into the plant first. <clears throat> Would you be upset? Is it just me? Because last year I was devastated when they got funguses and they got, it's called white mildew mold or something, white powder mold or something. I don't know. Upset. <clears throat> Y'all, we did everything right. Ordered very expensive new dirt, and now the dirt that they're in might be contaminated because it, it happens quickly. But I've soaked the ground with it and everything. Okay, I just finished grilling. I made my dad some porterhouse steaks. Um, well, my dad, mom, and Haley, and Dino, but Dino didn't eat the steaks. So I made porterhouse steaks for them on the grill, which I can't have, of course. I also made them some sausage, bacon, cheddar, new big giant dog things, they're gigantic, from um, Sam's. And I made um, more of the sliced potatoes with the carrots in the air fryer. Um, I have not eaten anything at all or drank anything else. I am so swollen, it is hard to walk, hard to breathe. My stomach is like a pure rock. Like I said, this happened with pork. And now, that's why I've never ate pork loins, any of that. And now it's happening with chicken. This is, keeps happening. I don't know what's causing it for sure. Yeah, because the, it shouldn't have any histamines compared to the deli meat I've been eating. At least the deli meat swells me a little. But that's probably because I'm eating it with bread. But this... This is flat out, I'm nine months pregnant. I got so much bigger, I thought my skin was gonna blow. Okay. Oh no, y'all, I don't know. Okay, I'm trying to go check them out, but I'm dying because of all the planting. I'm in so much pain. Also, what I forgot to mention is um, I'm back to no longer being able to go to the bathroom in over a week. So that's why I also love Cornover because it stopped me from having those issues. All right, I think it's like the 16th. Yeah, when I say I had a horrendous, horrifying night, that is no joke. Okay, so on the 23rd of last month, I had the whole head episode. Um, that's why I call them. I don't know what to call them. I've had them. Throughout my lifetime, at least once or twice a week, but during, there were a couple years on keto that I only had them once every six months. Um, then I started having them more frequency. It was horrible, so I didn't actually grow up this time. Um, even though I felt like I needed to, um, I did have to rush to the bathroom a lot for it to come out the other way. Um, it was gushing heartburn. I still have heartburn coming out my nose this morning and shaking to death. So I googled about um, GERD. Um, I never really paid attention. I didn't realize there's four stages of it. Um, but the third stage, you can go into shock because I google my exact symptoms. And I've told doctors these symptoms before. I told them where, you know, I'm on the toilet with a bucket, and it's coming out both ends, and I'm shaking the smithereens. I can't stop shaking. My teeth can't stop shaking. I can't talk. I'm stuttering. Um, I have a very cold, clammy sweat. My pulse is sky high. My blood pressure is low. And they're like, oh, that's so weird. When you Google it, it says you're going in the shock, and it's on the GERD. Um, medical website that stage three is some people go into shock but I never heard of that all this time I just thought I was just really sick during those moments even though when I have gone into shock during an accident before and it was the same same symptoms um but yeah and it's just go to the hospital that's not happening I can't drive myself 45 minutes to a hospital on top of it I can't be in an ambulance or a car for 45 minutes when these episodes are happening. I need to be on my toilet. And then they're the, the ER is the one who told me I had GER years ago because I had an episode and I went there because I thought I was dying. Because at that time my heart hurt real bad too. Um, 
and they were like, well, nothing can be done. You can't have the lidocaine drink they give you. Um, so it would be pointless. The hospital would just be like, I don't know what you're talking about. Go home. Just like some doctors are like, what? I never heard of that before. Well, the website says it on the GER medical website. But yes, I had an awful, awful night. I really haven't slept. Which means no chicken, y'all. I thought a different brand, trying it again. I mean, I didn't eat the skin. I didn't eat anything else. But no, it means I'm just going to have to get swollen from some freaking effing deli meat because I don't have episodes on it. Oh, well. Oh, well, I'm not having episodes. I'm not living my life like that. It is horrifying. All right, so I read a comment that I erased because I was so angry. I was going to viciously attack the comments. Didn't even notice if it's one of the normal viewers or not because I was so upset reading the comment. I was like, nope, delete. But we're going to address the comment. Once again, as I've said in a billion videos, maybe you're lucky to have a doctor who diagnoses you and don't tell you it's because of your weight, your age, or because you were diagnosed when you were 17 with fibromyalgia, IBS, CD, that you were diagnosed with all these other illnesses, that that's what it is your whole life. Okay, most of those diagnosed, some of them came with tests, a lot of them did not. My mast cell activation syndrome is in my medical records and I had testing for it to prove I had it like 15, 16 years ago. But I thought it was something that goes away. So it is not a self-diagnostic. It is literally what I was diagnosed with. Plus, I went in there because I thought it goes away and asked for the blood work and uh, the stupid P, 24-hour P thing. Um, and little did I know I didn't even have to go through all that because, yes, it came back positive because it doesn't go away. And I didn't know that. And the doctor didn't know that because she doesn't know anything about it. Okay, so I have PAs. I There is no doctor's office around here for the last five plus years taking new patients that take my insurance that have real doctors. I got into one and then she quit and moved away. Okay, it's PAs. They're very young. They're fresh out of school. And when I had the old ass 80 year old man, he would not run tests. He would not send me to a GI doctor. He would not give me any referrals because he said, it is your age, your premenopausal, and um, you have fibromyalgia and IBS and blah, 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 and, and nothing. He gave me one test to see if I had SIBO. That was it, that stupid whatever in your stomach, um, which it came back negative. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. and I've had basically Okay, I've had this new girl for two plus years now. Love her to death. But she literally asks me every time, well, what do you think it could be? And that's what most of the doctors around here do. I'm not sure. I think it's just your age or blah, blah, blah. And I don't know what tests to run. What do you think we should do? That is a statement I have been given for years. Used to I go to the doctor and they would be like, like two years ago, I went to the doctor and they told me all this shit and I was just like, okay, didn't go back. Right? It's long haul COVID. This is your new reality. They sent me to a therapist to learn my new reality. That was the solution. That was the solution. So, yes, you need to discover what tests you need ran. Go ask your doctor, unless you have an amazing doctor who doesn't see a million patients a week who have time to actually know things. Because most of them, a normal doctor can only treat the sniffles ear infections, a stomach virus, the flu. They, they don't treat other stuff. And even, I have an endocrinologist. He's great, but even he doesn't know much about a lot of the stuff. I have a rheumatologist. I have a GI doctor who won't touch me right now because like she said, even without mast cell, I am allergic to anesthesia. There is no anesthesia I have not had a severe reaction to, and she doesn't go near patients that have issues with that. So, and like she said, I can't have surgery. Y'all, I had almost stage one uterine cancer. They went in and ablaged it and removed tons of it while I was awake. They couldn't put me to sleep. 
Okay, that's why I have an IUD. Um, because it stops the growth of it. I cannot have surgery to remove it unless it is stage two cancer because I cannot put, be put under. They will not do it because my throat will swell shut. My heart will stop on the table. It has to be, you're going to die from this because you're possibly going to die and not be brought back. Anyways. All right, I'm leaving my mom. I was helping her pull dirt, push down a tree, plant some azaleas. I was digging holes. Um, today's just not a good day. It's a day that I should be in bed all day, but we have a truck order coming from Lowe's, so there are things that need to be done and gotten out of the way before it gets here today. And I'm in tons of paint. What, honey? All right, I have tons of errands to do. Um, it's all 45 minutes one way. It is Best Buy, Home Depot, Harris Teeter. There's someone else, like somewhere else I have to go and I'll remember. I'll remember once I get up there. But anyways, um, it is like, I don't know, four o'clock. I'm exhausted. I tried eating my last two slices of deli meat and I ended up having to eat a piece of bread about 15 minutes later because I ate it by itself and I got really, really sick to my stomach. Also, the any kind of water right now is giving me the worst heartburn in the world, but I am so desperately thirsty and I don't want coffee. Um, so I got on the phone. I was like, can I please, please have an appointment? And this is the GI doctor. I'm like, we need to make sure it is these issues are mass cell and that they're just normal episodes um what if I have my ulcers came back what if I have yeast overgrowth what if I have something else wrong with me that y'all are concerned about what if there's something else and we just don't know I get that they can't put a scope down my throat they've told me that I cannot be awake for it they will not do it awake I know they can't do that but I know there are other tests right my um they didn't do that for the ulcers before. They made me drink this nasty stuff and lay on a table. Like, there's some other tests, like breathing through a tube to make sure I haven't gotten SIBO. Like, there are some things just to rule out stuff because last night's episode lasted the longest and the 23rd was a nightmare and I still have stomach pains from the 23rd. Um, I really think I ripped some stuff in there. Um, and like I said, I am just going off what other doctors have said in the past or um, what she said. Like, I really did not, like, everyone wanted the last two years to blame everything on long haul COVID. And once I showed in my medical records that, like, I did have mast cell and it doesn't go away. And then they did the tests and, yep, you are having an episode. Um, you, to really know, you have to be having an episode when they draw your blood and urine and stuff, like, at that moment. Um, so, Yeah. If it turns out just to be mast cell, there is, like, nothing because I cannot take the naproxen, not naproxen, but the friggin, um, Netsium or any of that stuff, Prilosec, the off-brand names, any of them. I'm allergic to all of them and that has nothing to do with mast cell. I've always been allergic to them. Um, I'm allergic to any kind of laxative. There are a compound that's in all of them that I am highly allergic to. I took Netsium for 17 years, went off of it and became so allergic I had to be rushed to the ER and was there for like 12, 15 hours until my allergy subsided and they would let me go home and they were like never go near any of these again because next time you won't make it to the hospital. So, and yes, I went to an allergist after that and they did tests and they said, yeah, you cannot have those. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I'm allergic to Benadryl. So if you don't understand, that is what they give you when you're having an allergic reaction to save your life. It will actually kill me. I have EpiPens. Do not worry. I have EpiPens. I need an up-to-date one though. I let it aspire. But I do have an EpiPen that I carry with me and it, it can work up to a year later. It's just not as effective. But I have to get going because my daughter is going with me and we have a lot of shopping to do. Okay, so I just had a piece of bread with the deli meat. 
the one major reason I'm going to the stomach doctor again is I do not want to have to eat bread every single time I eat anything. Okay, I no longer can eat crackers at all. Every kind I've tried, I have severe issues with. Um, I'm down to two types of bread, period, and the deli meat, which swells me. Even though it's no salt and low sodium, it swells me. Pray because the bread. Um, having trouble breathing again because I'm so swollen and having so much acid. Um, and this isn't. I was fine for years. I was fine until getting long haul COVID. I was fine. We want to go back to then. Also, I'm concerned with my blood pressure meds. I really am. When I look it up, for some people, that's a big side effect. Um, and that's the only thing in the last two years that I've had to start, stop, start, stop. Like, oh. so I don't know, y'all. I'm frustrated. Really frustrated. There's a storm of brewing. Trying to get home without getting electrocuted. Let's see. Okay, the sky is very black. You cannot see it because of my phone's got magic, you know. There's so much lightning. I'm, and I'm moving as fast as I can, y'all. I am in so much pain. There is no moving faster. It is physically impossible. My thighs, on the back of my thighs, are so bad, I fall onto the toilet. I can't bend down to get onto the toilet. I am dying. Okay, hold on. Let me make sure none of my plants are going to fall. Hopefully, they'll be fine. No, I'm going to bring them in. Yeah, I shouldn't have ended it when I did. The whole sky was pink a second ago from the lightning. All right, in about two hours, I have to take my daughter to her meetup, a little group, and then kill an hour while she's there. Um, I'm so glad I made the doctor's appointment because this heartburn just really is not going away. Um, it's... <sighs> It's irritating me, y'all. This is what happened before. Now, I started taking my magnesium last night because obviously it's not the magnesium doing it. I went off my magnesium for over a month because I was worried that was causing it. I doubt y'all could hear that. Dino's really loud in the shower, probably playing with the cats, not realizing I'm outside the wall and I can hear him. But, um... I'm swollen and it's hard to catch my breath. I don't. Okay, so a lot of y'all are like, just don't eat. Do like protein drinks. Um, but I realize I can't have a protein drink every day. It doesn't settle. I stopped the protein drinks in case they were causing the heartburn too. Um, keto child I love, but it is completely out right now. It makes me desperately ill. I think it's the milk isolates, but I'm honestly not for sure. It could be the acacia fiber, even though there's a little bit in it. Um, I cut out the circulose and everything, skinny girl syrups. I cut them out. No heavy creams. Like, I cut so much out trying to figure out what could cause it. I even went two days with no coffee. Those were the worst heartburn days ever were the days with no coffee. Um... I can't fast because I have no energy when I fast and I my blood sugar taints and will not come back up on its own and I go through a whole episode because of that the shaking the nausea throwing up everywhere until I get my sugar back up so hopefully the gastro doctor can help me if she can't we'll just keep going through the list because two years ago I started going through the list of every doctor because no one could figure out what was wrong with me um, because it's not normal. You shouldn't be sick to your stomach 24-7. You shouldn't have be like this because heartburn poured out your nose all night. You shouldn't, um, it's just not normal. I know, I know it can come with mast cell activation syndrome, but I just want to make sure that really is what's causing it. And then if it is, God help me, that's my life, I guess. Um, I just want to make sure there's no underlying stomach condition going on in there, right? Like I said, I took a lot of doxycycline, which can cause severe um, yeast overgrowth. I'm highly, highly allergic to probiotics, highly allergic to all yogurts, 
doesn't matter the brand and that is probably due to my mast cell um but i am highly allergic so i have never been able to do any of those protocols right the reason apple cider vinegar works for people is for people with low acid it helps you fix it no i end up in the hospital no 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 it makes me desperately ill and guess what if you have mast cell you don't get to have apple cider vinegar it makes you desperately ill um it's funny all the things i keep saying made me desperately ill is things that can trigger an episode of mass cell activation syndrome. But there's got to be something, right? I'm not going to tell you the stories. It's going to make me fatter. I don't care if it would help some with my stomach issues. Because I shake, can't do anything, can't drive, can't... I'm not coherent when I'm on steroids at all. All I do is lay there, shake, and cry. I was on steroids for multiple times in my life for horrible allergic reactions. And I would have to go on it for like 60 plus days. Who oh, not. You did not. I was not me. It was horrifying. Horrifying. Um, so that is not an option for me. Not an option. But having to huff. To feel like getting an air in because my stomach is so swollen. It could be the tiny bit of bread I'm having a day. It's 30 carbs. Um, it's two slices of bread. Or it could be the deli meat because deli meat swells me really bad. Even though they're lower sodium. Um, I went to go buy no salt because they sell it but they were sold out. Because that's why I went to buy no salt. Um, the ham I got is uncured lower sodium but I'm also huffing and puffing because the heart hurt y'all I don't even want to make videos anymore because I don't know what to talk about because people like me talking about how I'm feeling and what I'm eating but I feel like shit right now <laughs> like seriously and what I'm eating is trash I don't believe in what I'm eating I'm eating it because it's the only thing I can get down um so, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Also, I was asked why. Why am I planning food I can't eat? Well, one, one, sometimes I can't eat tomatoes. I actually never experienced problems with tomatoes. I just stopped eating it because it was on the bad list um, for histamines. So, I stopped eating it just to see if I was having an issue that I didn't realize I was having. So, I haven't tested them again. Um, but the reason is... I don't live alone. I'm not alone. I have a fiance, a daughter, mom, dad. My sister and them are here during the summer. Um, I am doing it because I enjoy. It's a hobby I figured out that I enjoyed last year. Um, so for me, it is a hobby. And they get to f the fruits of my labors. Right? And it's also... I'm in the summer, I'm sent to the store constantly for cucumbers, bell peppers, banana peppers, and tomatoes. I mean, like, I'll be just laying around and I'll be like, hey, I need tomatoes. Go to the store. My dad eats hundreds of tomatoes during the summer. Hundreds. Like, ten plus a day. Um, so, guess what? I, last year was amazing. No more running to the store. I went in my garden, picked it, and brought it down to him. So... It helps me a billion different ways. Still got to clean all this pollen off. It's so bad, y'all. So bad. But time to go inside because my heartburn is starting to get really bad again. And I'm afraid it's about to come out my nose. And I don't want y'all to see that. This is how dark it is. As soon as we get out here, it is going to light up. I don't know why my phone lights up the outside, but not in there. Maybe it's the sky. Let me show you what I've done. I'm so exhausted. Everything's a pigsty. Ignore it. We will get to it. First of all, my hose came in, so everything got watered today, just now. Took me 45 minutes. Um, I still got to put down the bark and those, but let me show you what I did do, and they're heavy. Oh, I've been, been working, y'all. All right, so I got this one. This one going. This one. This one, it's not as simple as you think because you don't want to drown them in bark so you can't just throw the bag on it. Um, I should have done the bark before planting but it didn't make it here in time. And all of those. 
So yeah, it's coming along, coming along.